Okay, cool. So we're setting up uh, this uh, outside beam at the moment. Um, so you, you got that on zero, zero. So what that means is essentially that bend is flat with this bend. Um, we're at zero degrees with this bend. That's what we're after, uh, or, or as close as possible. Um, as I do up this nut, I just need to keep checking that that stays at zero. It probably won't. It won't, will want to move, um, but I'll just have to get it as close as I can. Um, cool. So what I did is I've marked out some points where I wanted to start. So there's one there. There's the next one. I'm thinking it's going to be like maybe 10 degrees and maybe 10 or 15 degrees, maybe something like that. It's going to be fairly small. Um, it's only a small bend. Um, we've uh, notched up that side. I haven't tied it up at all. Um, but yeah, that's just uh, notched up. Um, once I once I cut this to the final position, I'll go back and tidy up this end and, and tidy up that end. Um, this end will be flat um because this will be matching up to the outside bar that, that'll go around the wheel um but cool cool um i still got i'm going to measure up the mark that i had on this this one the last time just so i've got it for next time always good to write down or record or do something with how you want to if you want to keep doing them um over and over always good to have your measurements all set cool so that one's sitting in really Cool, okay, so we'll keep doing that. As I said, um, I just need to watch as I tighten it up. It'll probably want to flex a little bit, or I've already tightened it all the way, I can't remember. So, didn't really move too much, which is good. Um, the dial's set at zero, which will, which is good. Um, so, yep, there we go. So I'm gonna bend up this one at 10 degrees or so, um, and then go from there. Cool, cool. Um, so that's practically spot on 10 degrees um, with the without the spring back. Um, Got to just watch it as you as you keep bending. Um, when you go to undo the pipe, it will want to spring back because it, it you know it's metal, um, so it does have a um, uh, a tendency to want to spring back essentially to the the position it was in previously. Um, cool. So I'm gonna draw up all these measurements. I'll Okay, cool. So same as last time. I'm just going to measure exactly that. So we know exactly the points to check out. Cool. Why? Is that right? What's wrong, buddy? Oh no. Cool. Shut up, you're sweeping, are ya? Good job. Got the young one out here helping, so that's good. I don't know how much helping he's doing. It's more just playing, but you know, that's all right. Standard first year. Um, cool, cool. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Um, not too bad at all. Um, probably do up another bend or so. Um, so probably like tilt that one a bit around. There's something like that. Um, that one's probably going to be, you know, not even needed, uh, almost. Maybe it's going to be even like five degrees, something like that, because it's almost come out what we want on this side anyway. Um, the angle. Ah, what are you doing? What are you? Put that back. Put the tubing back. 
Bloody hell, kid, hiding all the silicon hoses. Um, cool. So, yeah, so that one's 10 degrees from that one, and we'll probably make that maybe 5 or 10, maybe 10 again. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be 10. And then that'll do um, as it comes out to this way. Then we're going to cut it off um, once, once we do that. So, cool. Happy with that. Um, yeah, too easy. Um, probably for next time, I might start that bend, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe like 30 mil, maybe 40 mil this, this way, um, maybe, not too sure yet, um, that's alright, cool, lessons learned anyway, this is the first time putting one together and building one, so, cool, cool, um, we'll pull that out and we'll go do it again, or the next one. Oi, what are you doing? It's why why did you put it up there? It's gone. Yeah, it's gone now. Bloody whole kid. What did you put up there? It's gone. Cool. So yep, that's uh zero zero again. Excellent. Um so again we'll mark all this up. Um it's all got the tension on there. Um so that's starting at zero. Always good to re-zero that. Cool. We'll mark it all up. Same again. So we're going to do the inside of this. I'm going to do around here. Cool, excellent. We're going to bend this up. We'll do about 10 degrees, I reckon. She should be pretty good. Cool, that's it. Um, yeah, come out practically on 10 degrees. Cool, so undo these ones and go put it back in the frame and see what it's looking like. Yeah, that's how we are at the moment. Um, so I could probably go maybe six degrees on that last one um, in the future, that way it's not as pointed around um, but all that means is I'll compensate it on the angle where, where it comes um, where that one goes um, a 90 and then that might be like a um, uh, what so yeah what I'm saying is that that will be a 90 bend that comes around there and then that probably be maybe a, a 60 degree something like that bend um, that'll sit in that one. But yeah, that's how it turned out. Um, so pretty happy with that. What I'll do now is I'll work out where to cut it. Um, it's going to be approximation. I'll leave a little bit more on there than I probably need to. Um, but that means then I can um, just save using as much material as I can. Cool. So just a sec. See if I can do this one-handed. Um... Cool. So I want enough material that, that it goes past that line there um, and enough material to put an actual bend um, that, that'll go around like that. So that'll be approximately it there. Um, or I just added a little bit more on actually to be safe. I'll uh, do that one there. Um, just a little bit more on than I probably need to. You can always trip them back. That's, that's it. quite easy. Um, and then we'll make up another another bar that goes from there to there now. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's it on the bottom angle. Um, that's it over there. Um, 
Not too sure whether I'm going to make it like dead flat across there. Actually, I'll probably angle it down just a tiny bit. Um, that way, that way um, it'll end up flat once the wheels are all together. Um, cool, cool. That's where we are at the moment. Um, I'm going to tack. So I'm going to cut another bar across there. Then I'm going to tack this <coughs> outer beam on there whilst that's all being held into place it's not not going to move then um no I, I know i know the engine's moved and it's all come apart there so that that's fine i'm going to take take that out um and find some other way to hold all that together in the short term whilst these bolts get here so i've ordered them um yeah just going to wait till that all gets here cool um do, 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 do. What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, so once we do up this bar that, that'll run across here, um, I'm going to uh, look at that plate. Actually, uh, I'll have a think about the plate underneath the engine there. Um, I'll also have a think about the supports, um, whether I do like a cross beam there or like a, a cross plate here or something like that. Um, just so when the kids do step on it, they, you know, there's no way they can step all the way through it. They'll step on a bar there. Um, once that's in there, then I'll have a think about the, the handrail that comes up here and how that's going to work. Cool, cool. A um, bit of progress today. So that's where we are. Um, cool. I'm just going to keep, keep chopping away. Okay, cool. So we've got this side set up. Um. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a bit of a bit of a smooth over um, with the uh, bench sander, um, and then we're going to tack this side on just one or two tacks, um, and then we're going to put up the or put in between this main beam, uh, sorry, this support beam over on that side. That way we can just keep this one exactly in place where we want it, um, and we can adjust that side to suit um, as we need it. So cool, cool. We're gonna pull that up, pull that out, and uh, get to happening. So that's uh, nice and cleaned up. Excellent. So I'm going to put this back in position. Cool. So we've got a nice, nice clean fit on that one which is which is excellent um cool so we're going to come through and tack weld that one so we've got to adjust it on the other side um i'm only going to put maybe one or two tacks i think two on this side uh just to make sure that i can actually move it once i go to try Cool. Still not too sure how the uh, welding 
comes up on video, um, but that's right. <laughs> I'll be able to check it out later. Um, cool. So we're going to go around this side um, and see if we can fix this into a position where we'll be able to tack weld it. Sorry about all the moving on the camera. That's what happens when I'm doing it all myself. Cool. Cool, I like it. Um, it's sitting in there with enough pressure, I'll be able to tack it. So that come up with a really nice, um, come on camera, uh, come up with a really nice uh, seal as well. So it on this side, um, no gaps, so that's what we like to see. Um, and we want it to be angled down a little bit, which is what we've managed to achieve there. Um, and we've got a parallel running with that back support beam. So that's what we're after. Excellent tick. So I'm just going to grab the welder, uh, the torch. So, not too sure whether that come up on the camera, but um, yeah, I accidentally touched the uh, the um, TIG. Uh, oh, I've completely blanked the tungsten, um, and then so from there, it's just caused some uh, um, discoloration uh, to the to the end of the um, tungsten rod, and also the the material that I'm welding to. Um, but that's all right. So, um, I'm just going to clean up the tungsten on this as well, and then we'll come back, um, into it. So I've got two tacks on this side, got three on that side, pretty happy with it. I'm just going to let it cool down for a bit. Um, but that's where we are at the moment. So it's coming along pretty cool. Shall be back. 